One, two, three. All right, which number did you hear the loudest? Which one was the most annoying? That is your card for this week. We are on May 2nd to May 9th. And if you heard one loud and clear, guess what? We have the Ace of Pentacles coming in for you this week. This is obviously exactly what you want to see in a tarot card reading. This is literally the hand of God coming out and here's your coin, here's your cash, here's your abundance. It is literally all around you. It's kind of like the sun, right? When the sun is shining on a really nice day, like this morning I woke up and the sun was shining, but in the backyard it's not as bright. But I know that the sun is still shining right? I can go outside. I can find it. I can wait for the clouds to dissipate. The sun is shining. So that is your abundance this week. It is raining down on you. It is shining down on you, pouring down on you. There's really no way for you to avoid it unless you're going to lather up your, you know, your sunblock, aka your money blocks, you know, <laughs> putting that energy on saying the universe is trying to give you abundance and you're saying no. Somebody is offering you something free and you're saying no, or somebody is uh, even giving you the right of way when you're driving, you're saying no. That's you blocking off the sun. That is you blocking off the universe saying, here you go. Here's abundance in the form of, you know, prosperity, success, financial uh, security, whatever prosperity means to you. Here's power. And you saying, no, hold on. You know, I, I burn easily. <laughs> like I got to put on my sunblock and my, and my sunshade. And it's funny because this other card also popped out the eight of swords. The eight of swords is all about feeling powerless, right? And it's just like this trapped feeling. So a lot of the times when money does come in and abundance does come in we feel super uncomfortable we feel awkward about it we don't feel like we deserve it we don't feel like we're worthy of it when someone does say oh don't worry about it I'll take care of it and it's like no 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 that's your recognition that you're not worthy of receiving gifts of abundance when somebody is trying to give you that even when they're paying you a compliment somebody paying you a compliment and you're shutting it down no oh no god no that's not me I this that the universe is like well what the hell <laughs> like so really your thoughts this week are the reason why you're feeling powerless and that powerlessness is going to be pretty stressful concerning the fact that the universe has been trying to give you your abundance so just this week really be looking around for ways that the universe has been pouring down on you and you've been kind of blocking it off by saying mm -mm, no no you go ahead no you don't you don't do that things like that really take stock and pull yourself back and instead just try saying okay I'll take it. Thank you. I appreciate that. And then you'll see how it snowballs into more and more abundance. And to snowball it even further, when you receive that abundance, give abundance. You know, when I win the lottery, you know, you donate 10%, you keep 10%, you save 10%, whatever, you know, and then you spend the rest, right? But donate back, give back, and then you'll see that snowball effect just even faster and manifesting huge, huge, huge abundance. Okay. If you heard the number two, we've got two cards for you this week. We have the Ten of Pentacles and the Emperor card. So this is another great week. I don't know what has shifted. Maybe the fact that we're in Taurus season, but something has shifted where money is now coming in. It's an overflow of abundance. And for the ones who chose card number two, the Ten of Pentacles is saying, you have that flow of abundance within your family, within your legacy, within your ancestry. You know, I was just reading this meme. It was saying, we're always talking about generational trauma, but what about generational gifts and generational wealth? You know, the wealth of abundance and positive mindset and loving relationships and prosperity and, you know, security and entrepreneurship. These are all things that get passed down within our legacy that we can find out and we can use use to our advantage, you know? even use your parents sun sign. I know with my mom's Virgo energy, she's passed me down this ability to work hard and clean hard and also a humbleness. So that's all things that I find are generational wealth that she's given me that I've now applied into my working life. So looking back on your legacy, on your family and seeing that abundance there is going to give you a lot of empowerment this week within your family. So it's recognizing that you have that power within your family. And then it's like stepping into it being like, Oh, yeah, I was born into this. I was bred into this. This is my legacy. This is something that is naturally occurring in my life. So I'm now going to tap into that power and embrace it fully. So the emperor card this week, along with the 10 of pentacles is really pushing you to recognize the abundance that you have within your family legacy and then owning it because they worked hard for it. It's time for you to now own it. Okay, through or the three, okay? So yeah, if you chose card number three, these are both reversed. These are both um, 
in a reversal position. Sorry, I'm remembering a dream as I'm talking. So we have the lover's card and the four of cups. So the lover's card, of course, as we know, is that soulmate, twin flame, whatever, you know, union that is just always so intense and difficult and whatever. So we have this reverse, meaning that, you know, everything is kind of topsy-turvy when it comes to the lovers right now, when it comes to your relationship, you know, really making a lot of effort, really moving mountains for this soulmate relationship because you know that it is important and you know that it's intense, um, but we shouldn't be working that hard. If it's a soulmate connection, it should be quite easy in order to see the, the mirror relationship and see the triggers and then heal from that. So it's only hard as we push ourselves to do it, right? It's like seeing a mirror right there and, you know, getting mad at the mirror for, you know, this blemish or for feeling ugly. Like, why would I get mad at the mirror? I need to look at myself and be like, all right, okay, this is an ugliness inside me that I don't like. How can I, you know, do something here or there and not blaming the mirror, unless it's the mirror at winners because that is, <laughs> anyway. So the next card is the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups is also reversed. So the Four of Cups is that boredom at home, you know, that stagnation, not really feeling motivated, uninspired, can't really work up the courage or the energy to do anything. And that truly is because of all the energy spent with the lover's card that is just completely tearing you upside down and all around and just really messing with your with your ability to manifest in inspiring things and inspired inspired creative action so just this week recognize that your lover your soulmate that twin flame if you're together or not they are a mirror make a list of the things about them that are really triggering and then just apply it to your own psyche and be like okay well maybe i'm this maybe i'm flighty maybe i'm deceptive where am i cheating myself where am i deceiving myself and then recognizing that this boredom at home is solely based on the fact that there's too much movement with your soulmate connection and not enough inspired action in other areas of your life. As always, if you need some guidance, you can reach me on Instagram at beyond your sun sign, or you can find me through my email beyond your sun sign at gmail.com. Hope you have an amazing week and I'll see you next week. Bye.